Welcome to the Learn It. In this topic, we will be taking Unit 1 of Physical Education, Planning in Sports, Topic 4. Let us start a new topic which is Intramural and its objective. It is one of the important topics of this chapter. It always comes in the examination. The basic difference between them comes which is Intramural and Extramural. Uh, let us study what is Intramural. So, I will just define it which is intramural sports are those recreational sports which are played within a particular school, college or institute. It is also derived from a Latin word which is intra and muralist. Intra means within and muralist means wall. So we can say that the activities which are played within the walls or within the campus of an institution are called intramural. The intramural sports means competition within the walls or within the school that is being or occurring within the limits usually of a community organization or institution this program offers the school community the opportunity for the participate in organized sports competition then also the games sports are modified accordingly if needed now let me give you some of the glimpse or objectives of intramural it provides opportunity to every student to participate in games and sports it also develops leadership qualities among the children develops feeling of cooperation and recreation it also gets developing feeling of sportsmanship opportunity to learn a variety of games and skills find out new talent gives opportunity to get experience of organization of competitions and to provide opportunity to develop personality. Now let us move to the advantages and significances of intramural. Apart from these points, I will dictate some more. It improves the sense of citizenship and adult living. It helps in selection of teams for participation in extramural tournaments. It brings out the hidden talent of the student. It develops leadership qualities in student. And it also creates recreational atmosphere among the teachers and student. It also helps in developing the personality, searching for possible talents and to develop leadership qualities in children or the students. Now let us move on to the next topic which is extramural and its objectives. Now what do you mean by extramural is? Extramural sports are those recreational sports which are played between different players, teams, of different schools or institutions or an organization in other word we can tell us extramural sports satisfy the need for a structured sports activities between students from various schools organization or institutions extramural means competitions outside wall or boundaries as of a city or a town or a university these tournaments will be organized on a zonal regional state or national basis Example CBSE tournament is an example of such kind of extramural activities. Extramural is also derived from a Latin word called as extra and wall which is external walls. So we can say that the activities which are performed outside the wall of an institution of a school is known as extramural. There are some of the objectives also of the extramural which is it provides experience to the students, it improves the standard of the sports, it broadens the base of sports, it also developed sportsman and fraternity ship and it also provides knowledge for new rules and advanced techniques of the sports. Let us know about some of the advantages or significances of extramural. These kind of extramural activities will enhance the image of the school and also shows the capabilities of the sports person inside the school. It also make and implement physical education program more efficiently and effectively. This also provides equal opportunity to different students who are not a part of organization or a school. These kind of extramural activities also provide huge amount of knowledge and new techniques to the sportsman. The last point will be it the standard of sports can only be enhanced by such activities which increase participation of different kinds of person in a one. 
Before moving on to the next topic, we should discuss about what is the specific sports program in detail. Before moving on to the sports day, let us discuss what is a specific sports program. Sports and games program are arranged in the world as well as in our country to promote the games and sports for a specific cause. Every country in the world has some or other cause for promoting a specific sports program. The programs motivate and create the feeling to take part in this sports program. People become health conscious and try to remain fit and stay healthy for as long as possible. These specific sports programs are usually organized by the federations, state governments, NGOs, etc. To create health conscious among the people and take part in health related sports program, more and more people of all age groups should take part in such sports program. A specific sports program are such programs of sports which are not only usually related to competitions. These programs have various objectives such as creating awareness among people regarding unity, health and diseases. The various important specific programs are for example, the first is sports day. A sports day has basically organized in each and every school which is known as annual sports day it is the sports day which is meant to organize various competitions among various houses of an institution duration is only one day it is basically for the all round development of the children all kinds of physical and recreational activities are included in such kind of a sports day each student gets ample opportunity to participate in this such kind of sports. This is basically to laying stress on the maximum number of participation from all the students of an institution. It also helps in developing leadership qualities of the student and it also gets interest of the student towards the sports. It also helps in maintaining the social qualities or developing the social qualities like honesty, brotherhood, friendship, cooperation, tolerance, unity, etc. And another type of specific sports program is also known as health run. This is basically organized by the health department to increase the standard of health in a country along with raising funds for charity. These are divided organized by the health department, sports department or social organization. There is basically no participation restrictions and it is not in the sense of a competition. These run are introduced to increase awareness among people about health. It also requires a pair of shoes and a light cloth. It can get your registration of participation can be required in advance. There is basically no age limit in this kind of health run. Basically the purpose is to increase the standard of health in a country along with raising funds for charity. The distance courses of running is also fixed. This kind of activity is also known as run for fun. It means it is also organized to spread the message among masses to remain healthy and fit. It may be organized to motivate the people to remain fit. It also helps in the enjoyment in such a way that it is always available in abundance. It also helps in motivating people to exercise regularly and stay healthy. It is also known as health run. It is just the same of health run. In this we can have fun during the run. It is just a type of friendly race. It involves roads and cross country races. It can also be organized in case of raising some funds. Next topic is known as run for a specific cause. This is the run related to a specific or noble cause. Most of the social non-profit organization organizes these runs for creating awareness about AIDS, educating the girl child, cancer, etc. Mumbai and Chennai marathons are organized for such noble purposes. These are generally organized by NGOs. Various category of participants can take place, can participate also. Distance of run 
may vary from different categories the prizes can be for position holders the basic and main purpose of this kind of raise is to raise the funds for a specific cause this is the last topic of this chapter which is run for unity it is organized to show unity and peace among the people of different religions it purposes may be national and international integration and brotherhood these run are organized for a specific purpose for bringing peace unity and solidarity among people of country or world these are sometimes conduct to raise funds for different kinds of charities also these run are organized to include people of different religions to remove social distance and economic barriers which comes together in this humanity in some countries run for unity is organized to celebrate the independence it may be in the form of a race of long distance or a relay race it is usually organized in different cities and there can be cash prize also for the first three position holders that's it for today's video i hope you have understood the topics very well but for more understanding i, I urge all of you to repeat this video again for clearer understanding if you like the video and its content give it a thumbs up and don't forget to comment your name in the comment section if you are unable to understand or is struggling in any of the topic please write the topic in the comment section i'll sure surely try to get to you soon so for more of such videos stay tuned to the channel stay safe stay healthy and don't forget to learn it